Hi, Lauren. So tonight, the Glenwood South neighborhood, they held their monthly board meeting where safety was a topic. Now, I met with the president soon after, and he said that we are seeing these crowds at the bars and restaurants. Those crowds are spilling over into the neighborhood, and things are growing violent. We have a grocery store. We have a pharmacy. Larry Miller loves living in his Glenwood South neighborhood, a place he's called home for the last nine years. We have great restaurants. We One thing he doesn't love as much, the scene on Friday and Saturday nights. Weekends, it gets a little rowdy. And recently, things have gone from rowdy to violent. Sunday morning, just before 2 a.m., Raleigh police were called on Glenwood Avenue at North Street for the second time in two months. Shots rang out, hitting two men and a juvenile who left the scene in a private car with a serious gunshot wound. Now that the weather's turning uh, pleasant again, we're getting bigger crowds. And uh, Saturday night was, was an example. Uh, it was more crowded than usual. It is generally a quiet neighborhood except for the spillover from Glenwood South. Michael Lindsay lives in the Forest Park neighborhood, which is also part of Glenwood South. Michael says the shootings are concerning. His doorbell camera picked up the sounds of gunfire earlier this year. And it shows just how close his home is to the violence. Michael wants more police patrol, but understands the Raleigh Police Department's constraints. So they're understaffed, but I do think the Downtown Alliance, which covers over to Glenwood South, I think the Downtown Alliance could increase their street ambassador program. Back on Glenwood Avenue, Megan Hanna lives in the neighborhood and owns a gym here. Days are usually calm, nights are when the crowds turn up. I never thought that any of that kind of stuff would be taking place around here, and it is a little scary for sure. Again, we're not here during that time. Thankfully, you know, we're we've gone home long before any of that stuff happens. But at 2 a.m. It's, it's a different story out here. So I met a lot of folks tonight who were out and about and they tell me they are not as concerned about the shootings and they will be back. Meanwhile, RPD is asking for your help. If you have any information that can help them in their investigation into this triple shooting, give Crime Stoppers a call. Live in Raleigh, Jimmy's Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.